standing soleus push-ups may be a really valuable tool for people who stand for long periods of time throughout the day, and here's why. This study looks at the benefits of seated soleus push-ups and how soleus push-ups may improve blood sugar levels in individuals with pre-diabetic symptoms. Standing soleus push-ups are a little bit different than seated soleus push-ups, and this particular study does look at seated soleus push-ups, but if you spend all day standing throughout the day and you want to get that blood sugar benefit from standing throughout the day, it's a great alternative, even if there aren't particularly strong evidence of studies behind it. So it's better than nothing. And let me know in the comments, have you tried soleus push-ups throughout the day, whether it's seated or standing, did you find many benefit from that? And if also, if you're finding value from this content, consider dropping a like or sipping a coffee. It really helps support the channel. To perform a standing soleus push-up, there are some important differentiations we need to make. So we wanna ensure that our knee is bent 30 degrees or so. If it's not bent and we're just doing a calf raise, we're gonna be eliciting our gastrocnemius muscle as well as our soleus muscle. So we're not isolating our soleus muscle as effectively if our knees are straight. We wanna ensure that we have that knee bend that helps take out our gastrocnemius and allows us to isolate on the soleus muscle exclusively. And then in order to perform the standing soleus push-up, We'll grab onto a stable surface or like a wall. We'll have that 30 degree bend. And then we're just gonna lift our heels off the ground. You can lift your heels about three inches or so and then lower back down. And when you lift, you can hold that lift for about one to two seconds and then lower back down. So it's kind of this sort of a movement throughout the day uh, that's gonna help isolate our soleus muscle just to be able to decrease our blood sugar levels in our bloodstream and help us metabolize meals and allow us to have more effective and efficient blood sugar levels in our body throughout the day. Now, a particularly effective way that you could do a, a standing soleus push-up is like if you're standing on a counter all day and you kind of can rest your forearms up onto the counter, you can do little soleus push-ups in that particular position. If you have an object that you can hold on to throughout the day, you can just do little mini soleus push-ups, that's fine. If you can only do soleus push-ups for, I don't know, maybe like 50 repetitions or 100 repetitions, that's okay. This, that particular study that looked at seated soleus push-ups looked at soleus push-ups all throughout the day. So if you're performing them for, while you're sitting at your desk for like four hours, which might seem a little excessive and a little harder to do if you're standing. So just do what you can while you're standing. And if you're standing at a countertop or any sort of area like that where you can easily get balance, and you can ensure you're in a safe position, just do what you can, and maybe you can do about 100, 200, 300 every hour on the hour, and that could at least be a little bit of something to allow you to get that metabolic benefit throughout the day. It's better than nothing. And soleus push-ups also can easily be performed incorrectly. There's a few different components that we wanna ensure that we're keeping in mind while we're doing the soleus push-up to ensure we're getting maximum activation of our soleus muscle. I made a video on all the things you wanna look out for and do during a soleus push-up. That's in this video right here. You can check that out and I'll see you over there.